What's up guys, I'm Brian Sakawa, you're watching He Spoke Style, and today, 10 shirt and tie combinations for a navy suit. Your navy suit is your workhorse suit, and it's one of the most versatile suits that you can have in your wardrobe. There are so many shirt and tie combinations you can do with a navy suit. Honestly, you're only limited by the amount of money you have to spend on ties. So I've put together just 10 as a starting point for some inspiration. The suit I'll be wearing in this video is by Michael Andrews, part of our Made to Measure collection launching soon. And all of the shirts, ties, and pocket squares I will link to down below in the description. Now in the event that a specific tie is not available, I will find one that is as similar as possible to it and link to that. Let's take a look at these 10 navy suit shirt and tie combos now. Up first is a really classic look. It's very simple. It's conservative. We have an ice blue Oxford cloth button-up shirt. The tie is the classic Brooks Brothers BB number no. one rep tie in red and white. And just a simple, very classic white cotton pocket square. This is going to look great in many, many different kinds of situations. It's kind of a classic business look. It's easy to put together and it never goes out of style. Next, staying with the ice blue Oxford cloth shirt and just kind of doing a variation on the previous theme, sticking with a striped tie. This one is also by Brooks Brothers, silk tie in a light brown and some lighter blue stripes. Striped ties tend to seem kind of businessy, but this one, because of the lighter colors, kind of tones that down a bit. For me, this tie has always seemed sort of like a nonchalant business tie, and I went with a white silk pocket square with a puff fold to kind of bring that all together. Next, another brown tie, but this one with a pattern. This is a silk tie from Viola Milano with a very nice pattern motif. If you're not sure about pattern ties, the easiest way to style them is to think of them as a little bit of a statement piece, and that means keeping the rest of the outfit simple. Like I said, you can pair pretty much anything with a navy suit, and then with a white shirt, it really does make it that blank canvas for the tie to take center stage. Now, I did kind of spice things up with the pocket square. It's a paisley square by Drake's. Here we have an even bigger kind of statement tie. This is a big, bold plaid tie by Drake's. Strangely, I, I don't really find it that overwhelming, but it is a lot of pattern. And again, keeping the rest of the outfit simple, white shirt, white pocket square, to support all of the information that's coming at you on the tie. Now, because this is sort of a more fun pattern, I used a pocket square fold that I kind of refer to as the bunny ears. So next look here, moving away from the pattern in the tie to putting the pattern in the shirt. This is a light gray block stripe shirt, will be available in the HSS Michael Andrews collection. And again, same principle, since we have the pattern in the shirt, the tie is solid. Or actually, if you look closely, this is not completely solid, but viewed from afar, it kind of gives that effect. Pocket square fold, again, just a simple puff with a white silk pocket square. Keeping the same block stripe shirt here and introducing a very simple and classic pattern along with a very rich burgundy color. This is another Drake's tie and one thing I really love about this one is that if you look very closely, you can see that there's an even more subtle pattern in the weave of the tie. You know, without the pattern, this combo could feel maybe a little more formal, but having those patterns makes it a little more casual. And the pocket square pulls everything together with the burgundy edge. Speaking of casual, we have our next look here. This takes your navy suit from being a business suit to something that's more in the business casual realm. Brown is my favorite color for a gingham pattern shirt. You see blue all the time, but brown to me is a lot more unique. Uh, now, since we've got a bold pattern in the shirt, the tie is simple. This is a brown grenadine tie, again, from Viola Milano. Grenadine is a great choice for a more casual type of look like this. And then I've got the bunny ears again with this Drake's pocket square. Next, we're kind of spicing things up with an interesting collar. This is a light blue pin collar shirt. It's by Edward Sexton. Instead of using a collar bar, I used a collar pin in a gold tone. It's easy to style this kind of shirt in a more formal way, but I wanted to show you how you could wear it in a more day-to-day -day kind of way. The rich green medallion print tie makes it feel kind of more casual in my opinion, even with the extra accessory in the collar pin. And then to kind of reinforce that overall effect, I'm using a classic dot pocket square with a puff fold. Here we've got another very classic combo and a really good illustration of how to mix patterns. This is a striped shirt, uh, again from our HSS and Michael Andrews collection. And then we have a kind of bluish gray medallion print tie by Drake's. 
Mixing patterns like this with your shirt and tie combos is the best way to wear a suit and have it not appear so formal. And then there is one more pattern here with the pocket square and a simple puff fold. Finally, decided to throw this one in. Not gonna be for everyone and definitely not going to be for every navy suit, but a denim shirt is a great way to take a little bit of that formality out of your dark navy suit. You have the fabric, of course, which is more casual, and it also has a little bit of texture, which is nice as well. Adding a lot more texture in here with the tie, this is available in the HSS shop, and balancing out all of the textural elements here is just a simple white cotton pocket square. So as I mentioned at the top of this video, there are limitless possibilities when it comes to shirt and tie combos with a navy suit. I hope this video gave you a little bit of inspiration. I tried to include some more classic combos as well as some that, if you've been afraid to branch out a bit, that you might be willing to try. All of the details for each look are down below in the description. Leave a comment, let me know which look you like best. Thumbs up if this video inspired you in any way. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and until next time, thanks for watching and stay tailored. Thank you.